Joshua 2.20 says, spies are still speaking, but if you tell, if you, Rahab, tell this business of ours, if you tell the king of Jericho, if you tell the pursuers, if you tell the people of Jericho, if you tell this business of ours, if it is no longer a secret between us, if you give away our plan, then we shall be guiltless with respect to your oath that you have made us wear. Basically, if you give away our plan, then, then we are no longer sworn to this oath. The conditions of this covenant are that you be silent. You be silent in regard to this. Sure, tell your father, your mother, your brothers, sisters, everyone who belongs to them, everyone's close to you to reside in your house. Okay, get them inside your house, be on mission, be a believer and, and go after the people that are in your sphere of influence to, to make sure that they are saved, to make sure that they are saved from the coming wrath. But do not tell this business of ours in order to thwart our plans because you cannot thwart the plans of Yahweh. And this is what you have to keep in mind. You cannot thwart the plans of Yahweh. You can't do it. Satan couldn't do it. The greatest kings in human history couldn't do it. Rahab, you can't do it. And Rahab doesn't want to do it, but they're just giving her this warning in verse 20 here. If you tell of this business of ours, then we shall be guiltless with respect to your oath that you have made us swear. Do not inform the king, do not inform anyone of our plans or try to give it away or try to get the upper hand over us. Because if you do, then we will, then, then salvation will not come to anybody in this city, not even your home. There will be no salvation. And so they're warning Rahab to keep silent and to be faithful. This is Joshua 2.20. But if you tell this business of ours, then we shall be guiltless with respect to your oath that you have made us swear. Basically, we will not be held guilty for not keeping our end of the bargain because you broke the conditions of the covenant. Joshua 2.20.